Hi guys, uh, this is the first video I've ever done. Um, basically, I'm going to show you how to get the best from your armor by using Lucky Shot. As you can see at the moment, I've gone into Lucky Shot and on the third attempt of using Lucky Shot, I've already got myself a sealed warmonger equipment. Now, in order to get this, you have to reset your targets and look under Lucky Shot and you're looking for where it says equipment. And as you can see, you can get four different types of outfit. You can get Warmonger, you can get Deathseeker, you can get Flamebringer, and you can get Ice Lord. Now, if you've just started collecting good armor, don't bother with any of the others, Deathseeker or anything like that. Just keep pressing the refresh button until you can find one that it says Warmonger on it, which has got the blue background. Keep pressing the refresh button. As you can see, I'm just pressing to show you what's actually on the screen. Keep pressing it and eventually you will find one with Warmonger on it. And there we go, we've got one on the top right hand corner. So there we go, we've found one. So we click start and when we get start, we start off with just one. Each time you press it, it doubles to two, two then doubles to four. So my first shot has missed and we've got some pine, but we get a good lot of pine. The second shot is not available to us, so why not? We have to find it either by buying it, or as you know, we don't want to buy, we want to find. So this is where your dailies come in handy. And as you can see, I've already opened two chests for the day. And what I'm going to do is go into Fortune Teller. And a quick way of being able to go into this is you spin it, close it, go back into it, spin it, press the cross, close it, go back into it, spin it, close, press the cross, go back into it. And you have to do this five times to achieve a full daily. Next, you find one that you can do. So we've currently done four lots at the bottom. I'm going to reinforce our lies now. So you might wonder why I'm doing these. The dailies um, are the only way that you can get free lucky shots. So three lucky shots and free lucky shots as well. So by carry on doing my dailies, I'm creating more chances of getting chests and that's where you get your free lucky shots from. Now I always use cav for raining because it's quicker uh, and then I press return and I don't have to wait for the farm to finish. I can just come back out of there Go back into the cabin and look at my dailies. Choose my next one, which is an achievable one. And what we're going to do now is, and I wouldn't normally do this, but you only have to build 250 troops of each soldier. So your range, your cavalry, you only have to build 250. The advantage of just doing 250 only takes four hours to train them. The benefit of four hours of training means that you can do this daily. If you train a thousand, then it can take up to 24 hours, which means you don't get your dailies. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to speed up my daily troops. I wouldn't normally do this, but just because I want to show you how to get your chests and how to get your lucky shots quicker, I'm going to speed them up. I'll do that in a minute. First we can do wishing well. Now on wishing well, you should be only using steel. Steel is for your armor and keep pressing it. Now what I do once I've emptied all my steel, I carry on going to eight and then I will just, because it's cheap, I'll use the others just to go up to I think I do up to six that in counts that means 20 in total if you do 20 wishing well um, then it will empty the daily for you and there we go we've got a lucky chest now we haven't got um, a lucky shot in that one next I'm going to go into marketplace this is something that people don't seem to do as well, and I do this every day. In the market store, basically, you use wood to achieve other items. 
Um, I normally get about 4 million wood, even in my farm per day, because they're maxed to 24 level at the moment. And that's enough to achieve about 4 million wood per day. So just keep clicking on anything you've got. And again, you've got to do roughly um, 20. I think one item is roughly 20 goes, and you've got to achieve 20 to do a daily. So this takes a little while. Just keep pressing them. If there's some specific ones that you want to use, then by all means, go to the ones you want to use. Some of the dailies sometimes give you really good level four crystals. Um, sometimes you get... Um, um, sometimes you get stamina. Other times you get absolutely naff all, um, but you just keep pressing it. I'm hoping part luck you'll get something decent. I don't do it to achieve anything other than to do my dailies, though, to be honest. So I've finished that now. I've come and clicked back on my chests, and I still look. I haven't got. I haven't emptied another one. So I look for another one. Now I always check to see what I haven't done and what I have done. And there you go. Look, I've achieved all 20 points on my marketplace. Now I have to keep checking these because I forget. You know, it's a long day and, and you, you go into them and you just generally forget. So you can see there's kill monsters there, there's heal troops. And look for the ones that I think are achievable quickly. If I don't do it quickly, then I end up not doing it in the day. I'm just going to click on my res at the moment just to get rid of it because it's something I have a habit of not doing. And now what I'm going to do is boost. Now, boosting is easy. Yes, it does cost a little bit of gold or Alliance Store, whichever one you... Alliance Store points, I should say. Um, so you only need to do two boosts per farm or per mine. To create a full daily so you'll notice I'm just doing two for each one so it's cost me probably in the region of about 80 points now I don't necessarily do this every day but again just to show you I want to get my chests quickly today um, just to show you how to keep getting those lucky shots and bear in mind this is just one day it doesn't take you long to get lots of free lucky shots. So look, there we go. I've got my chest. And look, I've got another shot. So they're brilliant. It's lucky shot coin. And I need that, obviously, to have a go at the lucky shot draw. That means we have now got two more. So I'll have another go. And I've currently missed. So now I've had two goes. Now, if you looked at previously, I only had to have three goes to get my Warmonger outfit. So in principle, um, if I manage to now get three more lucky shots, then I will be able to possibly get my Warmonger scroll. Now, what am I doing now? Basically, I am donating. And the reason I'm donating is because it's part of a daily. And it's something I also forget to do on a regular basis. So if I keep checking your dailies, you realise what you haven't done and what you have done. Now, again, still short on the chest. So what I'm going to do, which is what I said I was going to do before, I noticed that my next chest is going to give me another lucky shot. So I am going to speed up my training. Oh, before I do that, though, I will... Um, something that people tend to forget, um, including myself, is... Um, is to do your trap factory. So I've just done that again. I'm still a bit low, so... I'm going to help allies, allies even. And now I think I'm going to speed them up. I haven't found anything else that I can do. It's very easy. So I'm going to speed up my 
training. Now I've got quite a few speed ups there, even for my farm you might notice. Um, and that's because I do quite well on Merlin's Trials. And in Merlin's Trials in the store, you can get speed ups really cheap on a daily basis. Um, so I'm going to use some of my speed ups on this. Well, it's going to take some time now this. Um, there's only 1 minute 56 seconds but I'm still going to use a 5 minute speed up I think just to get rid of those. Um, just again so that we can... I'll emphasize that you know if you don't want to train too many soldiers 250 a day is only a thousand a day um, with the four different um, the four different barracks that we've got and everything so there we go we've unlocked another chest and now I've unlocked another lucky shot now that's the third lucky shot so there's only three lucky shots available at any one given day so even though I've got another third shot and it's given me a lucky shot I'm not going to be able to actual have another go today but you get the general idea and that's how you get your warmonger now what I will do is show you how to actually get the special um, rare materials that you need for warmonger. Now you can see I've already got warmonger there that's ready to go but I haven't got enough chests. So the chest is what I need to get one special item that I need for releasing some of the warmonger outfits. Now some of them require two, some only require one specials. And when I say special rewards, what I mean by that is that on some of the actual um, armor or weaponry, it requires um, a special material. And that special material um, will be some kind of um, dragon, stone or anything like that and you need at least one chest of a hundred rare pieces to get one dragon stone so what i'm doing here now is making sure that i can go into the spirit spire and get my points to start collecting them you can get eight per day so again eight per day that means you it won't take you long to get a hundred don't forget also that you also get rare materials um, for your um, your chests um, when you do um, when you do the barbarian trials. Um, so um, if you get um, an extra chest then you'll also get extra materials out of that. So it doesn't take too long. Um, while I was just doing it, it's going to take approximately 12 days to get enough... Is it 12 days? Divided by... Yeah, 12 and a half days to get enough material to create one chest. So one chest will give you one special rare material. Um, now, what I'm not showing you on this video is how to actually get those, um, how to create those rare chests um, and how to pick and select the correct chest that you want. And that's going to be in another video um, that I'll show you later on because this video is now going on a bit. Um, what I'm currently doing now is one of my pet hates is when I'm farming, I'm coming across ones that are actually half full. Um, the reason I'm just showing you what I'm doing here with farming is I'm farming wood, iron, silver, um, so that I can create more dailies. And what I'm also doing is because you need all four units to actually do daily properly and showing you that you can send your farms before you change your heroes. And the reason you can change your heroes is to create better gathering speeds. So just to show you here, 
that um, this chap, Ellen the White, he's brilliant at gathering. He gives you as much percentage as you want. And the other reason I'm showing you this chap now, Sir Gareth, is that if you look at the second star, it's 30% quicker iron. Now, I haven't got it on my farm, but I have actually got it on my main. So hopefully this is showing you how to get your dailies, how to get your bonuses, and how to get your actual rare materials that you need to actually use um, to get your, your actual armory. Once you get your armory, I'll actually show you how to actually put it all together. Okay guys, cheers, and I'll speak to you soon.